<laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Wind, I've just blown in. And today we are back with more Seduce Me 2, The Demon Wars. We are continuing on with Eric's route. Our third try will hopefully get a better ending this time. I will say we have been getting more new dialogue, which is nice. But let's let's see where the story takes us, shall we? Also, welcome back to Topless Eric. As it should be. Eric was right. This was a whole different matter. For a second, I wondered what Eric thought about the question, but more importantly, we needed to let the group know what was going on. I mean, do we really? Is there really anything the group could do at this point? Is having a child that bad? Uh, if you're not ready to be a parent, yeah. And skip buttons back, yay! My one true love. You know what, little spirit? I'm gonna tell you right now. Stop it. And we've seen what happens when we tell it to stop. The problem is it's in my body, and it's kind of screwing over my fiancé, and it's trying to convince me of something, something I apparently don't understand. Huh? And it looks curious. How did they die? Because, yeah, I may not like kids, but I don't want them to die either. And the boys come in, and their wives come in, and we're having a meeting. And I'm going to kiss my boyfriend's cheek, because emotional support's important in these things. And back to the skip button. And more people are here. And they try removing the spirit from me with Serio's holy magic. Yeah, he has that, apparently. <laughs> Actually, it makes total sense if you've seen Diana's paths. So, anyway. And it kind of failed. And now they're trying to figure out who should mentor me. You know what? What would the others teach me? And here's my choices. Oh! The last few times I have chosen Sergeant. I think this time, though, I'm going to try something a little different. I am going to choose Shadow. Because at heart, I am a sneaky, sneaky, stabby rogue. Who fails stealth checks regularly. Diana nodded. Shadow seemed very intelligent and knew the ins and outs of being sneaky and dodgy. Which makes sense given her build and her Taekwondo background. It would definitely help in battle to not to get hit and maybe take the enemies by surprise. Yes. Learn the ways of shadows. With that, Diana turned on her heel and left the room. And the skip button returned. Yay! They passed each other in the hallway. And the boys are off to their training, and I'm off to my training. Because we are productive human beings. Yes, we are. And incubies. Anyway. Choosing shadow defied almost every part of my moral compass. Really? I mean, does it... He seemed like a fantastical sociopath. Wow, how do you really feel? Lacking a care for anyone but the war and himself. Eh, I don't know, I've not really seen enough of him personally to have that opinion as the player. Still, I had to admit his personality made me curious about his abilities. Yeah, I'm also curious. After all, he was the one that almost sent me back home through Diana's shadow. Exactly. He is a powerful, powerful man. Hopefully we can learn some cool tricks. As the memory of the boy filled my thoughts, I began to try and dissect how it was done. Were Shadow's doorways here? Valid question, actually, when magic's involved. Was Shadow just that powerful? Aw, he's dark type. How exactly was he able to a person's shadow into void through the world? Also a valid question. Maybe that was the reason I chose him as my trainer. My curiosity about his abilities were pecking at me, and I needed answers. Valid point. Learning some of those abilities myself was just icing on the cake. No, being able to survive the frickin' demon war is icing on the cake. Hi, anime boy. 
I was guided to the library by a scout, most likely under orders, and found Shadow reading through scrolls on the table near the fireplace. Aw, cozy! Also, is anyone slightly getting soulless flashbacks here? Upon me entering, Shadow looked over. Ah, oh, there you are. Hi. Come, sit. Cool! Shadow motioned a hand towards one of the seats almost dismissively as he continued to pore over what he was reading. Hey, I am what needs to be poured over, sir. I followed his directions and sat down in the chair, watching him. Okay, good first step. For a full minute, he said nothing. I watched as he read each line off of the scrolls before him, and occasionally switched scrolls to read what others had written down on them. The handwriting was hastily scribbled Latin, so there was no way for me to understand it. Really? I'm dating the Incubi, and I have not thought, maybe, just maybe, I should take a few Latin courses in college? Wow, what am I doing with my education? However, I began to feel a little agitated. Weren't we supposed to be training? Yeah, also kind of valid. Um, excuse me. I needed to get his attention. Wow, after the first game where it was like I just sneezed and one of the boys fell on me? Th this is a little disheartening. This was a little ridiculous. Was he not told that he was supposed to actually train me? Wow, your privilege is showing. Why would he expect me, though? I think that word should be accept me, though, not expect me. Oh, well, like I said, the writing here is sometimes... It felt like someone should have proofread it and maybe given them some feedback. Despite my statement, Shadow continued to ignore me and kept browsing through the scrolls on the table. Wow, this really is Solus all over again. Jumping down from the second floor balcony to land right on his table. Shadow! Still, nothing. I was becoming even more agitated at the silence. Yeah, this is why I think I do much better with rage. I decided to simply stand up, hopefully to catch his attention. However, as I attempted to, I felt myself unable to push off against the chair. Like I was stuck to the seat. Oh, dude, did you put super glue on the seat? Gosh darn it, not cool, yo. These chairs look expensive. Huh? I looked down at the chair I was in. It was a simple chair. How was I stuck? Wow, did I put on that much weight that fast from a spirit child? Huh. I wiggled a bit in my seat. Nothing that I wasn't sitting on, anything sticky, nor was anything keeping me down physically. What the hell? Uh, let's see. His name is Shadow. You know, he does shadow manipulation. I think maybe, you know, he's doing that now. Just we're super slow on the uptake. I attempted to stand once more, unable to move any further than a centimeter up from the seat before needing to sit back down. Do you understand now, human? You're a sneaky, sneaky bastard, and goddamn, I love you. Also, I love your hair. I want to play with it. I just, I want to braid it. I want to give him bangs. I don't know what it is about this guy. I just want to give him a hair mic over. I looked up at Shadow, seeing him continue to visually ignore me, but noticed a small smirk on his lips. He was holding me down somehow. Gee, how do you think someone named Shadow would hold you down? When you can stand, we will begin. Okay. I got this. I am the main character. My eyes widened. This was a test. This was an unfair trap of a test that I fell into and now I had to find my way out. Yeah, I have not had a good week. I had to figure out how he was trapping me into the chair and stand. This was going to be an adventure and a half. It, it's literally just escaping a chair. No. Is my character smart enough to escape a chair, folks? I looked down and around my body on the seat, seeing my shadow beneath me. It was pretty obvious that he was using my shadow to hold me down. Yay, slowest pony crossed the line. 
But the question was, how was I going to break its hold? Well, you either move it so you don't have a shadow somewhere with more, more or less light. Or you create even more shadows. Or you take control of your shadow somehow, but I don't think we have the skill level for that. I took a moment and let my thoughts dissect the problem. He was holding me by the shadow. Mm-hmm, yes, keep going. He had to have been. It only made sense. If I somehow made my shadow disappear, then his hold would vanish along with it. Yay, I figured it out. Me smart. However, how was I going to do that? And there goes my intelligence points. My shadow is beneath me, formed by the shape of my body and by the firelight. So we just get rid of the firelight. Or my body, one of the two. And then it hit me. I sick the spirit on him! I say he's giving me the sex eyes. The firelight. Oh, I liked my idea better. I looked at the fireplace, seeing it burn bright from the pyre within its mouth. It illuminated the room and gave every person an object a shadow. Aha! Okay, this makes sense. As I stared into it, my plan became set. I smirked as I gripped the armrest and planted my feet onto the floor. I pulled the chair up onto one of its legs, pushing off the ground with my foot, and completely turned the chair around, facing away from it. My entire body became covered in shadow, but I knew my plan had worked. Uh, wouldn't putting yourself in more shadow just give him more things to control? I no longer felt a hold on me. Keeping me in the chair, my shadow vanished in the new darkness around me. I quickly pushed off of the chair, finally being able to stand. It seemed so freeing to be able to stand again, having been trapped in that chair. As I felt my body standing up straight, shadow let unimpressed. Hmm. Quicker than I anticipated. Yay! I impressed my teacher. I glared. Did he honestly think that little of me? Well, to be fair, I sometimes think that little of you. Just leave. Seriously? I am not done yet, sir. I had to stare at Shadow like he had five heads. No, still just the one anime boy head that I see. Although, there might be under the hair and the shoulder pads. Just saying. Hmm... Time for a haircut. But that would be a crime, because, I mean, look at those lush flowing locks. I had to stare at Shadow like he had five heads. As he turned to me, he smirked at my facial expression, caused me to fight back the urge to snap at him. Good, because, um, I think he could hurt us if he wanted to. I had to see how intelligent you were. Thank you. Not waste time on someone who doesn't know how to use their brain. Fair enough. Very fair, actually. Despite the insult, I could feel that he was underhandedly complimenting me. Aww, I know those compliments. They suck. In some twisted way. I guess what I was able to pull out of his statement was that I was smart enough to fend for myself. Yay, I'm going to take this statement exactly how I want and not as intended. Yay! I could tell that this was going to be both an annoying process but at least an interesting one. Like most school. Shadow shook his head and stepped away from the table and towards me. He gripped the chair I was on and turned it back around to face the fireplace before crossing his arms. What I will be teaching you are mere basics of dark magic. Okay. You will be able to hide in plain sight, control cool. your environment, and even defend against impossible odds. I nice. expect you to use these abilities wisely. Understood? Yes, sir. But will I get luscious anime hair like you? I suddenly became excited. I would be able to do all of those things? The idea of it all became rather fascinating and outright too good to be true. However, I was in the demon world. Anything was possible. Exactly. Now, as long as I can keep that mindset of anything as possible, I'll probably be fine. I nodded and mentally prepared for whatever he threw my way. I wouldn't fall for another trap, which means I'm immediately going to fall for another trap, aren't I? 
Shadow took in a breath and let out a silent sigh before closing his eyes. His body slowly became pitch black. It, it would be nice to see this. Covered by a wave of shadow despite the fireplace on his body. His form slowly melted down into the ground and faded into the shadow on the table beside him. I really wish we could see that. That sounds so friggin' cool. Yeah! What? I became confused, but as I stood for a moment, there was only silence as reply. Was this what he meant by using my brain? I had to copy him? How did he even know to do that? How was I even going to start trying? I don't know. You're not going to tell me how to do that? I was once again greeted in silence, making me let out a sigh. I had to figure it out. I replayed the spell in my head from memory, trying to discern how he made himself into a shadow. Maybe I had to think about becoming a shadow. Did that even make sense? What? What exactly makes sense, really? I'm marrying an incubi. I'm in the demon world. My father-in-law tried kidnapping me. I mean, what, what really makes sense anymore? I closed my eyes and tried to imagine darkness covering me. As stupid as it sounded, it was worth a shot. However, as I did, something in my nerves seems to make me hesitate. I could sense a feeling of cold dread try and take over my body as I thought about the darkness. Was this something I was supposed to feel? Hmm. I felt suddenly scared and started to second guess my desire to learn about dark magic. Oh, come on, become dark type. Why are you hesitating? Because I like being normal type, and type sinking is scary. I heard Shadow's voice rumble through the air, causing me to question the training. Did I want to go through with this? Uh, yeah. Duh. Yes. Obviously. I shook my head. I needed to be brave about this. It was a new set of skills I could use in battle. I just had to take it slow. We got this. Main character powers go. I closed my eyes again, took a deep breath, and focused on becoming a shadow. A cold feeling ran through my body, crawling over my skin and completely enveloping me in its embrace. Soon my entire body had become surrounded in frozen numbness. <laughs> I'm sure this will only end in good. I opened my eyes. I gasped at the sight. Shadow was once again in front of me, but the room around us had become visually dark and misty, like I was in another world. My body felt light as I stepped towards my trainer in confusion. Ah, we've entered the Shadow Realm! So we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh today! Shadow lifted an arm and gestured dismissively around us towards the environment. Welcome to the Shadow Plane. Thank you! Good to be here. The Shadow Plane? Indeed. Think of it as a copy of the real world. But no one hmm. lives here except shadows. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I furrowed my eyebrows, still confused. What is so confusing about this? But I gasped as I heard quick footsteps rushing outside the, the door. I was shocked to see demons in black hoods and cloaks running back and forth along the hall. What the hell? Those are my scouts. They ah. use this plane to travel without being hindered by other beings. Ah. Much quicker this way. Okay, fair enough. I looked at the ground, seeing it coated completely black in darkness. How was I able to be here if this was the new plane? I thought I was trapped in the demon world. Well, no plane might be a bit of a stretch. It's more you're in an extension of the existing world. Think more like a pocket, really. How can I be here if I'm cursed? This plane is part of the demon world. Exactly. So the curse does not affect you coming here. Ah. We are currently shadows of the real world. Hmm. Untouchable. 
barely traceable. Interesting. I nodded, taking in what he was saying. So I was able to roam around now and not be seen. That was an interesting power. It really is. I am Shadow Cat. <laughs> Shadow began to walk out of the room, ushering me to follow him. Come. We will see the benefit of this world in action. Cool. Let's go. I quickly followed, excited to see where we were going to do. Where would we go? What was he going to show me? Mm -hmm. Shadow and I walked quietly through the halls. I could fairly see the outlines of people who were not in the shadow plane and became shocked to see how Shadow simply passed through them, as if they weren't there. Well, because to him they're not. As a couple of people passed through me, I felt instinctively strange, but physically felt nothing. It was like I was a ghost. Aw, oh, so we're dark ghost type. Cool. We truly were shadows. As we arrived at the war room, Shadow stopped me and peered inside. I crouched and looked through the door as well, hiding out of instinct. Aww! Kitty girl! With knife! Inside were Diana and a person covered by cloak. Diana's face painted the situation's emotions very clearly as one of agitation towards the girl who stood before her at attention. Yeah, that's kind of Diana's default look. Shama, I understand that he didn't accept it, but where did you take it? I was told to throw it away. Ah. Your master told you to throw it away? Hmm. As I said, ma'am. Who's your master? Diana gazed at the hooded figure, burying her stare into her soul. Yeah, Diana has that power, even with her one visible eye closed. However, Diana could only sigh. What was Diana asking about? What did the figure throw away? Mm -hmm. Potato chips? Very well. You are dismissed. Aww. She does not seem happy. The demon bowed and left the room, passing through me in shadow. It still felt weird that people were able to go through me. Yeah, that, that would take some time to get used to. But I shook it out. The shadow cleared his throat. Scare the succubus. Uh... What now? This, this feels like a bad plan. What? I looked up at Shadow, surprised as, as his demand. I think it should be at his demand. However, his cold gaze pierced back into mine, letting me know that he was serious about what he asked of me. <laughs> this will be fine. This is fine. I instantly became nervous and a little fearful. I had to scare Diana? How? The idea of appearing behind her came to mind, but Shadow seemed to know what I was thinking. Scare her from this play. Okay, I can do this. Now things became complicated. This was a space where I was just walking through people. How was I going to even phase her in this world? Well, you said it feels weird when people walk through you. Maybe if you walk through someone, it feels weird? Worth a shot. I looked into the room, taking note of everything. The light in the room was pretty bright. Her shadow was cast against the wall, mimicking Diana's actual movements. I was able to do anything with that? Hmm. Was I able to do anything with that? Interesting. What about the light in the room? Was it possible to dim the lights like a ghost? It seemed a bit complicated, but it could be fun. It could, couldn't it? Except for the part where, you know, she's kind of trying to help us get home and I really do not want to mess with her. I took a moment to think before deciding. Mess for shadow, mess for lights. I, I'm just gonna stick with her shadow. Let's go with that. It seems safe. I won't risk setting the castle on fire. 
It seemed like the most simple plan, so I decided to go through with it. Yay, simplicity. I quickly rushed in and hugged the wall next to Diana's shadow. With a closer view, the shadow seemed almost as detailed as the real person. Every strand of hair had a pigment of darkness. And yeah, she has quite a lot of hair. It was kind of cool the more I stared, but I had a job to do. Gosh darn it, I am a, a student here. I focused on her head, noting the horns protruding from it. The shadow made it look like she had ears. Fairly cute. Maybe that could do something. I raised my hand and ran a finger along the horns for a shadow, hoping to grasp it somehow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, remember Diana's path, or one of Diana's paths? Yeah, she really likes having her horns grabbed. Which, as we're not romancing her in this verse, it, it, it might kind of be inappropriate. Suddenly, I shot my head to Diana as she released a moan. She bent over the table, gripping the horn. I caressed via the shadow with slightly shaky hand. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> uh, how about we stop giving her a horn job and we do something else? Did I do that? Yes, Steve Urkel. Yes, you did. Diana looked around, her face as red as a tomato. Which, yeah, you, that is sure red on her face. Were her horns a weakness? Weakness, very sensitive. Potatoes, potatoes. I grazed my fingers along her shadow against, over her other horn, out of curiosity. <laughs> How about we stop tweaking her horns? I am feeling like a pervert here. Diana gripped her other horn and bent over further, hiding her horns in her shadow. Damn. However, I became mildly excited. Uh, I, I'm learning things about Ariel this playthrough, apparently. I could touch her without touching her. This made no sense, but it was working. I could only guess that this was the power of the shadow demons. Why are they not more powerful again? Diana stood up straight, taking in a breath before letting out a sigh. Dear, I know you're there. Ah, uh, am I dear or a shadow dear? What the hell? How did she know? As shadow switched to the real world, I felt my body force itself back as well, like I had run out of energy. I finally felt warmth consume my body, making me feel dizzy and lightheaded. Yeah, what? She's done quite well. Aww. Into the shadow plane without much hesitation. Oh, aww. Thank you. I guess he doesn't get praise very often. I see. I did good! Except for when I molested you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I naturally hugged the wall, feeling the after effects of the transfer dance over my body like rippling waves of wind. It felt so strange. I knew I still had a lot of energy, but I wasn't able to stay in the shadow plane for long. Well, no, I'm not a shadow demon. I'm surprised she managed to stay there for as long as she did. I expected her to phase out before we came here. Aw, I surpassed your expectations. Go me! To do what, exactly? Molest you. I mean... I don't know what I mean, really. Shadow stared at Diana blankly before turning toward the door and walking out. Come. We have more work to do, human. Ariel. My name's Ariel. Damn it. The irritated look on Diana's face looked semi-hilarious. No, that that is not hilarious. That is the look of someone deciding, is this worth inflicting pain upon them? Or humiliation, or both. But I shook my head and ran after Shadow, pumped to learn more. How did I do all of that? Curious, are you? Very much so, sir both in and out of character. Well, yeah, I'm your student after all. I want to know. 
Also true, in and out of character. As we walked back to the library, Shadow looked at me and gave me a slight smirk. You are quite interesting for a human. Aw, thank you. I'm engaged, by the way. I felt a bit flattered and ran my hand behind my neck, bearing a shy smile. I had to admit, I was acting like a little girl who had just learned about candy. Hmm. Yeah, I believe it. Still, I had a very good reason. I did something I never imagined I could do. It was well worth the excitement. Very much agreed. A shadow shook his head and let out a sigh. While it is impossible for us to touch anyone in the Shadow Plane, let alone assassinate them, ah. it is very possible to distract them or affect the light sources of the world. Hmm. Interesting. If we affect the light shadows, we can essentially creep further and further along. Interesting. Like how I did? Indeed. Aww. A shadow is more than just a reaction to light. It's mm -hmm. also a part of a person's being, able to ah. be used to, let's just say, get a message across. Exactly. So I can't kill anyone from the shadow plane? Boo. No, but you can very easily make them feel as if they aren't alone, putting them mm -hmm. on alert and giving you a good chance to kill them while they're distracted. Okay, subterfuge. I like this. It's like the ultimate stealth skill. I took a moment to take in what he meant. I could see how the manipulating of the shadows were a great benefit in battle. However, apparently I had a time limit for how long I could be in the shadows. Fair enough, I mean, Todd in the shadows lives there full time, so... You know, you gotta sometimes just share the space. At least it wasn't entirely overpowered. Yes, because I care about game balance. In war. The remainder of the day became focused on me manipulating light and shadow in the library. While being in the shadow plane was fun, it was only effective if the target of my movements were either in sources of light or had a distinct shadows of their own. At the end of the day, I was exhausted. Who knew that using dark magic would be so difficult? Uh, anyone who thinks about it for only two seconds? Still, I guess that I have potential, or else I wouldn't have succeeded in passing the test shadow through at me. I had to be proud of that much. Exactly, go me. Woo! I slumped and fell onto the ground exhausted. I definitely used up a lot of energy, and it was a foreign feeling to me as a human. It was like my body became heavier with each breath I took, but it wasn't entirely painful. A small huff caused me to look over at Shadow, seeing him stare at me intensely with crossed arms. What? For a human, you have a large amount of energy. I'm surprised you're not a witch. I mean, am I? Am I not? What is my lineage exactly? I mean, my grandfather, in theory, was a warlock, so that's just a male witch. I felt a little bolstered by the statement, despite how strangely it was phrased. I guess Shadow really couldn't genuinely compliment anyone. I wondered why. You know, some people are just like that. It's just part of their personality. Compliments do not come easy to them. Either because growing up they received so few, or just other reasons. I had much to learn, but I was excited for the next day as my training ended, and I was sent to my room. Yay, room! Hopefully boyfriend's there. Skip, skip, skip. And I fell into the bed exhausted, because he's not here yet. And Eric arrives, and... It's time for cuddles. All the cuddles. Because I've missed cuddles. And yeah, time to skip again. Because apparently we've cuddled with him and we fall asleep and the spirit's here. Apparently the stereo's attack earlier really hurt it and it is indeed a child. So we are horrible people. 
And you know what, kiddo? I'm sorry, but you super don't belong in my body. No, you're not. You're right, I'm not. Because get out of my body, please. And skip to skip as we have dialogue with the spirit. And you know what? I'm... No, I won't. I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want you out. And we've seen this. Skip, skip, skip. Eric's here. The spirit's kind of accusing Eric of just wanting to turn me into a brood mare, which eh, I super don't believe. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. I got nothing, sweetie. You're on this. And we've seen this, and we wake up, and Diana's here. And we're talking about how to get the spirit out, and um, is your method going to hurt it? And Diana seems confused by this. Blah, blah, blah. Now she's trying to feed off me, and you know what? I'm just going to let her take my energy this time, because I don't want the spirit in my head right now. Also sucking off my energy. Cool. Now it's time to go to class. Yay! As soon as I arrived at the library to train, this does not look like the library. I stopped when I heard Diana's voice erupt from it. Where is the flower? Where is the bee? I believe you were already informed as to what happened to it. Do not tell me you are blind to its significance. Hmm. Are mommy and daddy fighting? I peeked into the room, confused as to what was going on. Diana, can, can we have one verse where you're not messing with one of my teachers, please? <sighs> Diana, with a face full of irritated anger. Yeah, that looks angry. Leaned against the mantle of the fireplace, a shadow poured over his scrolls. As he usually did. I didn't even look at Diana as she spoke, disinterested in the topic of conversation. It wasn't needed for the gate spell, so it was deemed unnecessary. It was tossed out as a result of that judgment. Okay. You do realize that flower is one of very few out there in this plane, correct? Ah, okay. Yeah, if flowers are super rare, maybe, you know, not throw it out. And this should bother me... why? Oh, dude, if I have to explain it... I could practically cut through the tension in the air with a knife. Wait, I have a knife? <gasps> the way they spoke to each other spoke volumes of their disdain for one another. Why was that the case, though? They were working the same cause. Yeah, here's the th You can be on the same team, but absolutely come to loathe that person because of their actions and how they treat others or how they treat you. I have been through this. It is a horrible soul crushing experience to go through. And you have my sympathies if you're going through this. Especially if fearless leader is being a dick to you and you're just trying to do your job. Diana was snarled with surprise. This surprised me, really. Did no one proofread this? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be which surprised me. Dear Lord, folks. Ugh. It should bother you, because as consequence of your thoughtless action, I am putting your scouts in charge of finding another. Hmm. And why would I allow this? Uh, she's in charge. She's the queen. I watched as dark purple and black flames slowly emitted from Diana's body, causing Shadow to look over, straighten up, and take in the sight. Yeah, shit got real, yo. Do not piss off the queen. Because while you are their commanding officer, I am the head of this entire rebellion, and my orders outrank yours. Exactly. You have now pissed off your leader. I hope this was worth it. Shadow dot dot dot. Diana glared hard at Shadow, but I could feel the intensity of her glare from the doorway, making a hard shiver run up my spine. 
Where did this Diana come from? Eh, the first game? I recognized her tone, but didn't want to imagine that this was the real her. The shadow finally sighed. The tension died a bit. As you wish. Another will be found without delay. Yeah, because it's not like we don't have more important things to do than your floral arrangements. Diana's aura faded as she let out a sigh, calming down from her angry display. Something was wrong with how Diana presented herself. Still, she altered her tone. Thank you. I appreciate it. Aww. Shadow only stared coldly at Diana as she pushed herself away from the fireplace and walked towards the door. Panicked to be found out, her eavesdropping, I stepped out of the hiding spot as if I had just arrived, looking into the room. Diana stopped at the sight of me, but closed her eyes and continued walking, arching around me to get by. Excuse me. Yes, Your Majesty. I watched as Diana left before walking to the library, now concerned. You know, you are a terrible spy. Agreed. I, I need to put more points into it, I know. That's what you're here for. Huh? I looked at Shadow, realizing he knew that I had been listening in to what he had happened, and grimaced. Crap. I rubbed the back of my head, trying to calm myself of the embarrassed nerves racing in my head. Sorry. I was curious about what was happening. Mommy and Daddy were fighting. It's nothing to be concerned with, just a waste of time, really. I expect you not to do that again. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Actually, yes, sir. See? He called it. It was better not to question it for now. I would learn eventually, but his shadow wasn't going to tell me now. There was no way I'd be able to force an answer out. True. Let's let's respect his boundaries, okay? Shadow looked to me, observing me for a moment, before nodding and turning from the table. Well then, shall we begin? Eh, uh, well... Actually, we need to end. I'm sorry, folks, I've got to cut the video here. Until next, tackle like a tail, kiddo. Okay, <laughs>